anytime we can talk about Michael Jordan, I'm a happy man. Today, March 18th, is the anniversary of the day Michael Jordan authored the most impactful two-word sentence in the history of sports. He faxed the Chicago Bulls and the world a two-word sentence. I'm back. 1995. This is the day Jordan announced he was coming back from baseball and coming back to the NBA. I was covering the team at the time, so I remember it like it was yesterday. And it was about as significant a thing as has happened in sports in the big picture in a very long time. So today's list, Michael Jordan's top five accomplishments in his second incarnation, his top five accomplishments after returning in 1995. Number five. All right, number five, I'm going to go with the double nickel game, the 55-point game at the Garden, which came about a week into it, ten week to ten days after he returned uh, to play. He had played a couple of games He hadn't looked necessarily quite himself in the first game or two, and then we went to the Garden. Again, I'm on the road with that team. I make the joke all the time. I'm walking in the media entrance on 8th Avenue at the Garden. I got my credential in my hand. Guy yells out to me, I'll give you $5,000 for your credential. And so I enjoyed the game from a bar across the street. Again, that's a joke. I covered the game. And he scores 55 points in one of the great shows. The sound in the garden that night, there is a sound that really only happens in Madison Square Garden. And it doesn't happen often, certainly not lately. But that night, that was electric. And that game sort of signified Michael Jordan really is back. That's number five on the green list. Number four. Four, Michael Jordan became, in the 97-98 season, his final year with the Bulls, he became the oldest player in history to lead the league in scoring. When that season ended, he was 35 years and 61 days old, and he led the NBA in scoring. Uh, People just don't remember what this guy was. He was the oldest player to lead the league in scoring uh, in the last season that he had with the Chicago Bulls. Number three. He averaged in that year's finals. 1998, in the finals, his last finals, the one that ends against Utah with him with his hand in the air after knocking down that shot, after stealing the ball on the other end from Carl Malone. He averaged 33.5 points a game in those finals. Now, you may say to yourself, that's a heck of a number. Let me make it an even bigger number. His team did not score 100 points in any of those games. In those games, you look back at those finals. Go back and look up the 98 finals. Most of the games finished in the 80s. The first game was 88-85, and it went to overtime. Those teams played defense back then. And so he was averaging 33.5 points on a team that was averaging about 90. So the Bulls did not score 100 points in any game, and Jordan averaged 33.5 in the finals at the age of almost 36. That was Michael Jordan, and that is number three on today's list of the top accomplishments from Michael Jordan after he came back for his second incarnation. Number two. At number two, we just have to put the 72 wins. I mean, he comes back 95-96. The record for most wins in an NBA season had been 69 forever. So this was 96 when it happened. The the, the Sixers, uh, the Wilt team, had set that record in the 60s. So that record had stood a very long time. Larry Bird's Celtics never did it. Magic Johnson's Lakers never did it. Nobody won 70 games. Jordan and the Bulls won 72 on their way to that first championship of the return, of the three-peat. And I was there for every day of it. And their motto was, it don't mean a thing if you don't get the ring. And they went into the finals and they steamrolled everybody. But that season, the 72 wins is number two. Number one. But number one is my own personal one. You will understand why this is so important to me if you have been listening to me for a long time. When Michael Jordan put together his second three-peat at the ages of 33, 34, and 35, the 96, 97, and 98 seasons, he played in the regular seasons those years, 82, 82, and 82 games. Michael Jordan did not hear of the words load management, none of this baloney that we deal with today. And if you want to say, well, the guys today play harder, go back and watch Michael Jordan play. Go back and watch Michael Jordan play on a random Tuesday in New Jersey in February, a game that that most of the stars today would sit out, wouldn't bother playing. Jordan was playing like it was game seven of the NBA Finals. He was the best there ever was, and that is my favorite reason why Michael Jordan would punch you in the face if you suggested that he load manage a regular season NBA game.
He's the greatest there ever was. He's the greatest there'll ever be. And that is today's green list, the top five Jordan accomplishments after this date in 1995 when he announced to the world that he was coming back. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.